One of the most difficult things to do in Madden 24 is pay, is score touchdowns in the red zone. It is literally an entire defensive strategy this year to basically play Bimba Dope break defense all the way up and down the field. And then once you get into the red zone to essentially try to like stop you at that point because it is so difficult to pass. And if you can stop the run, it's really hard to score in the red zone. The Madden red zone is actually the 10 yard line and in and really the goal line area of the field, I think, is the hardest uh, to be able to score because a lot of your routes, whenever you start to run routes, they're going to run themselves into coverage. They're going to run them. They're going to run out of the back of the end zone a lot this year. They're going to stop randomly. So how do you pass in the red zone? How do you pass inside the five? This video is going to show you how to do that. We're going to play mesh spot out of the West Coast bunch. It's also in the Patriots bunch. And what you're going to see here is we're going to motion this solo wide receiver inside. We're going to put him on a hitch. And then the main reason we're calling this play is for this little crossing route from the R1 receiver. Now, if you have a slot apprentice, you can actually create the same basic idea. And we'll talk about that in a second. But what I want to show you is this motion and hitch is going to hold the cloud flat defender. And you can throw this on the sideline for a nice completion against any kind of cover two based defense in the red zone, which most people are doing. Now, what most people like to do also is they will tend to uh, maybe send some pressure. So we'll send a little, uh, little five man uh, pressure here and then we'll go ahead and create kind of some coverages. What a lot of people like to do is this guy's going to be in a hook curl so that we can they can stop like the running back wheels. Um, they might put this guy in a in a hard flat. We'll do that just to kind of be safe. So we only send four here. But this is this is a hundred percent what people are going to be doing to try to stop you inside the five yard line. And they're probably going to use this guy right here. Once they see that you're running this concept, if you have a backside anything like a backside Texas route, a backside in route, whatever. Um, this is going to, this is going to help significantly because they're going to have to respect that. But what you'll see here is the meta coverage that everybody wants to use in the red zone. If I have time, I could throw that in the back corner prax mode, the sheds go crazy whenever you send four. So we're going to just for the purpose of the video explanation, we're going to create the same red zone coverage, but we're only going to send three just to make sure that we actually have time to hit this. Again, most people are taking that deep half off the field and they're picking that a hook curl pretty much unanimously from what I've seen. Uh, pretty much everybody is doing that. OK, so I want to show you this, uh, the same exact route combination. And again, you can do really whatever you want on the back side of this. But what you'll see. Throw in the back corner of the end zone and possession, catch it. You basically want to throw it slightly before that. Um, but as you can see, it's wide open in the back of the end zone. Now, you might be asking, how do I do this if I don't have mesh spot in my playbook? Glad that you asked that. It doesn't have to be gun bunch, okay? But the concept that we're trying to basically show you is that when you put a hitch route on the numbers, it is going to pull the cloud flat defender or at least hold the cloud flat defender so that you can throw a post route or a slant route over the top of it. So the way we're going to do this this time is we're going to motion this guy in, put him on a hitch, and then we're going to slant the slot receiver. Now, the reason I don't like this is because sometimes slants stop this year randomly when they get bumped. But if it doesn't stop, it will still work. The thing, the route that I like the most is a slot apprentice post. And then what I'm going to do to that slot apprentice post is I am going to smart route that post. And what you'll see here, I smart route it. We get that same basic behavior. And I think that is the best version of this passing concept. Now, the cool part about this is we can do this from really all kinds of different formations. I'm in the Patriots playbook. Let me show you something really unique. Um, if we go to the Y off trips, Pats formation, you're going to, and we're just going to try to see if we can find a tight end post. I don't think we have one in this. We have the Pat slot out. I'll actually set that as an audible, but I don't think that's going to work. And I'll explain why when we get on this onto the field. And then let's see if we have anything else. I know we have that tight end crossing route. Uh, double ends might actually work. Stutter curl seam, it, it will probably work. And then, yeah, let's just roll with that. Okay. So the cool part about why off trips pats is you actually have uh, a couple really cool things working for you. You have um, this, this stock post route to, to the square receiver. And you'll see here that if I put the R one receiver on a hitch and then I can really do whatever I want with the rest of the routes, but just watch R one. He's on a hitch. I got that post coming back across and you'll see here. I actually need to be uh, actually need to have my trips to the short side. I apologize. 
So Utrip stock has like a kind of a very similar to a slot apprentice post. That's the reason I've, I chose Utrips. But here, same. Okay, so perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my tight end. I'm going to hitch my out my middle trips receiver. And then really whatever you want to do with the rest of the routes, okay? Uh, maybe you want to wheel your running back. And then you can motion this guy over and put him on a, a an out route, okay? It, it doesn't matter. The, the concept here is between the hitch route and the post. So if you look here, watch this hitch. The hitch is going to hold that cloud, and I can throw this in behind it. I smart routed the post, and that's how it worked. The other cool part about U-trips and formations like U-trips, for example, like gun spread is very similar to U-trips. Gun bunch is very similar to U-trips when you motion that guy in. Look to the left side. This is basically a motioned in gun bunch. So what? guess what we can do? We could go to a play um, like double ends, and we're going to hitch this guy. And what you should see is this is going to be and actually, kind of, see how I see, and that's what I'm saying about red zone routes. That's why I like to use a tight end apprentice post and smart route it. But if you don't have the ability to do that, this normally does work. Um, it, we might need to be just a little bit more off of the off of the line of scrimmage. But you see, he crosses pass lead right. I just you see how he's kind of stopping in the back corner. It's allowing the deep half to play it. Most people aren't going to have a deep half in the red zone this year. Um, they, they just don't. Most people just don't have deep halves in the red zone. They're using uh, hook curls to stop other stuff. But again, I'm going to free form it this time. You see, we get a little bit more bend to the left side, and we're able to, we're able to get this really nice route in the red zone. Let me show you one last thing with this. Um, you can actually use a running back ghost route as well. So a running back to the short side of the field, when you put him on a ghost route, that's going to be right about where the numbers are. And so what you'll see here, running back's going to go. He's going to hold that defender, and we can throw this with a free form to the outside. This is the best red zone passing concept in the entire game. And if you can master this, it's going to help you win more games. Guys, if you like this kind of content, make sure you're in the Patreon. It's only $10. I guarantee you the stuff in the Patreon will make you a better Madden player because it will not only break down really advanced stuff like this, but we also give you an entire system that you can use both offensively and defensively to take your game to the next level. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, that's where you get all access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks, everything for just $10. Head down to the description and go get signed up at the link down below.